Hello, I'm Entralism and welcome to Democracy 3 with the new electioneering DLC. So, um, the Democracy 3 is a game, you might not know, uh, where you basically play a nation and you have to basically play the, the party in charge. You have to tweak certain aspects and maybe change laws and legislation and policies and try and make your nation, well, however you really want to make it, preferably better, uh, however you see that. And then the electioneering DLC makes it so that instead of just, uh, do people like you or not? You win the next election, cool, you can continue. Uh, it actually means that you can start influencing the election using things like photo shoots and um, speeches and funding for your party from donors. It means you've got to keep donors happy, which actually really nerfs the ability to be like a diehard awesome socialist and actually make the world a utopia because, um, well, you need to pander to corporations to pay for your campaign speeches or buses with slogans on the side or whatever you choose to buy. Uh, so we're going to dive in and have a little bit of a go. Uh, so I'm gonna go new game, and of course, considering, <laughs> considering right now, uh, it's a time when the United Kingdom has a very turmoily government. Turmoily isn't a word. I made it. It's a new word. I'm, I'm taking ownership. No TM, everything like that. Uh, and considering the American uh, elections are coming up, we're gonna start the United Kingdom. So uh, we're gonna play. It's uh, mostly Christian, apparently. Although a recent census, I'm pretty sure said that apparently most people were non-religious or undefined. Um, uh, Somewhat advanced. Eh. Inequality 41. Oh, wow, Germany 27. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's dive in and play. Uh, we're going to leave our term length at four years. Uh, just so that we have a standard term length. In fact, the UK, uh, a lot of people think the UK just doesn't have a set term length. It does because legislation brought in in 2011. Uh, the fixed term. Parliament Act or something like that. Uh, it has to be four or five years. So we're going to go and we're going to play as the... Sure, we'll play as the Lib Dems. The Lib Liberal Democrats. There we go. Uh, I'm playing as the Lib Dems because they basically don't have anyone in power right now. They have like 12 MPs or something ridiculous. Uh, and they used to have more. And it's a good starting stone because as a player you start off like, oh, you won the general election. Cool. But nobody likes you. Like you start off with like zero people liking you. Like no one actually would vote for you right at the beginning of the game. Despite the fact you just got into power. And we're going to be playing against... Uh, the Conservatives. It makes sense considering they are the current uh, party in power. Uh, term limit, no limit. Monarchy, yep, 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 yep. This is all correct. Right. Let's do it. Okay, so we currently have a fairly low GDP, fairly high unemployment, very high crime, health could be improved, education and poverty could be improved. Okay. Begin term in office. Hi. So if you don't know democracy, this is the point where you're like, I have no idea what's going on. So each of these is a section. So you've got transport, foreign policy, uh, law and order, taxes, public services. And then you can tweak certain things. So red things are like epidemics. So you can see right now we've got a doctor strike going. Wow, they've updated it for the modern day. Uh, they've got a doctor strike going on. We've also got um, asthma epidemic. We've got uh, organized crime. Uh, that doesn't mean that there, there just is organized crime, because there will always be some organized crime. That means that there is an epidemic of organized crime, right? Uh, they're now a serious problem on targeting our streets. We don't know how to deal with them, blah, blah, blah. Uh, whereas stuff like the blue is um, just stats. It's basic things. Uh, so oil price. You can't influence the oil price. You can influence it indirectly, but you can't, like, crank it up and down. Uh, you can also have a look at stuff like air travel or the GDP. You can't just make your country's GDP go up but you can try and influence it. Stuff like education, etc. Now, you can influence those indirectly through, say, the third party. So if you look at this and hover over it, you notice that um, going into this is technology, state, and private schools. So technology is red, which means it's decreasing it. So let's look at our technology. It is not particularly high enough to bump education. It's decreasing it ever so slightly by 2.52%. Okay? Whereas if we have a look at... State schools and private funding. You notice that those are increasing it. So they say they are... Ooh. This one, for instance, is increasing uh, education. But I can't influence private schools. I can, however, influence state schools. And you notice I've got a bar here. So that I can increase and decrease this bar by spending money. And it will have knock-on effects. So the poor, socialist, uh, education, poverty, and all that jazz will get buffs and negatives. Uh, it will also cost me political power to raise and decrease, and also cancel if I choose to. Uh, and political power is this. It's sort of the measure of how strong a government is, how much you can get passed. Uh, in this case, in the House of Parliament and the House of Lords, since the UK system requires the House of Lords to also vote on it. Um, so, 
Well, it depends. Mostly it does. Uh, what is it? Some, Saint Salisbury Convention requires them to, if you put it through twice, they have to agree to it. Or is it Salisbury Convention, the one about if it was in your manifesto, they can't veto it? I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, the UK has a constitution. It's just kind of written and unwritten. People say it's an unwritten constitution. It is. It's just case law and past history stuff. Uh, so we're going to dive in and I'm going to try and increase taxes because I need to spend more money. And right now I've got a deficit, so I'm actually losing money quite, quite dramatically. Raising this costs me 30 political power. I have 25. So I'm going to just hit next turn and save up. Stop and search. The demands for uh, police for the power of stop and search people on the street if they believe the individual may be guilty of crime. Currently, our police cannot search someone without formally arresting them. Uh, actually, in the UK, you can. You need to do a stop and search, and they'll be like, look, I'm stopping and searching for this reason, and they give you like a form and stuff. You can only choose the power, sure. Uh, we've got a minor budget deficit of 8.75. We're only getting 20% of the vote. Okay. Um, nothing's really changed. Now we've got enough political power. We can store 50. Excellent. I'm going to be cranking up income tax. And normally I like to crank it up to like 50, uh, 60%. That gives us a nice increase. So you, we currently get like an extra, what, like... 70 billion from that? If I crank it any further, you notice that I'm going to start to really piss off the wealthy. I don't quite piss them off that much. So we're just going to have it at like... Hmm, let's say, yeah, 60% seems a reasonable one. Middle income don't like it quite a lot. Uh, capitalists dislike it. Um, earnings go down, even for the poor. But uh, equality goes up and socialists like it. And also I get more money. That's the important part. So I'm going to apply that. Now, one thing we need to sort out is our technology backwater. So if you look at this, this is where we currently are with the value. Uh, if we get um, below green, it will stop. If it's below that, if it goes above red, it will start. So it's to stop it going on, off, on, off, on, off, if you only had one line. So we've got to go below green, stop it, above red to start it. So we need to decrease that. And Creation's inversion easy illusion is currently um, pushing that. So we, we teach both systems. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually correct in the UK right now. I know in Scotland it isn't. I want to crank up the evolution only. Now, the religious hate us. Also, religious membership goes down because they're no longer being taught um, creationism. And it doesn't mean people aren't religious. It just means people don't define themselves as in the religious voter block. They vote primarily based on their religious concerns. Uh, so, yeah, I would want to do this, but I don't want enough political power. So I'm going to revert changes and go back. Instead, uh, I think... What's the issue of doctors? Uh, unemployment... Causes, effects, da 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 da, da. Right, what, What's feeding into this? Private health and uh, state health. I can't affect private health, but I can affect state health. So I'll give you an extra 5 billion. Sure. Debt protection law. Debt collection agency been in the news because of the aggressive methods they use on extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. Uh, no, we're going to limit their activities. Um, we could just allow them, but then they'd just be like, yep, yeah, by the way, you took a loan out and you didn't pay. Ah, I'm going to nick all your stuff forever with like 2,000% interest. And No, we're going to limit their activity. Uh, we've got a 50 billion surplus, which is nice. Uh, we're getting 50% of the vote. And the Human Rights Society encourages its members to oppose our government. That's not because of anything I've done. That's just because of the current stance of the country. So, I think now we still can't manage to solve the creation versus evolutionism. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to get science funding, and I'm going to crank this. It's going to cost me like 15 billion. Maybe we just go down a little bit to like here. Yeah, we've got it here. It's going to cost me, what, like 9 billion. There we go. Being a bit cautious. I also get rid of some of the debt, because the debt is very high. Uh, 830 billion debt at the moment. Now. Intelligence services, we can get rid of some of the organized crime, but also policing, because that will get rid of some of the street gangs, vigilante mob, the alcohol abuse. So we're going to crank this up. Uh, conservatives like this, which is nice. We can get some conservative voters on the side, although I don't think they're going to particularly like my... Uh, government, but sure. 
Now, of course, we are playing a political game, and politics and YouTube very rarely go well together, so I hope we can all just be generally nice and friendly and chat and so on about this. Uh, right, so we've got 16 power left. Generally, it's stuff like increasing the funding for the police force. Everyone's happy to do that, right? That's why it only costs four to increase funding. It costs 18 to lower it, because people are like, oh, you're lowering the funding for the... Oh, oh that's... Oh. Race Discrimination Act. Not much to be done by... Well, it only costs one to raising it. Sure, we'll do that. Helps a little bit. And actually, if you check, by the way, it gets more people into the liberalism uh, voter block. This means it's not like just conservatives like it or um, ethnic minorities like it or liberals like it or racial tensions go down. This means it increases the number of people in a block. So it creates more liberals. Uh, what else? Narcotics is kind of promoting organized crime a little bit. What's the main cause of this? Intelligence services decreasing it. Um, let's look at new policies. So if we go over to Law and Order, there's a needle exchange program. It's not particularly popular, but if we implement it, we can get health to go up, we can get the liberals to like it, and the conservatives will hate it. it costs half a billion, though. But... Ooh. I'm going I'm to cancel it. Now, the downside is, even though I've cancelled it, it put it into play to begin with, and it took away my political power. I'm not really sure why that happens. I really dislike the fact that happens, because I just want to be like, like, what does it do? Okay, cool. No, I don't want this. It's too expensive. And it cost me political power to even debate it, even to think about it, which is annoying. Superhero. So this is like an event, which is just like, look, someone pretending to be a superhero has appeared. And it means that crime goes down and violent crime goes down, which is helpful. Uh, General Strike. Ooh, hello. Hi, General Strike. This fact the government has led to trade unions calling a general strike. Although not everyone in the country is withholding the labor, a key number of industries are crippled from the strike, which is disastrous both economically and politically. Um, basically, poor earnings uh, has caused this, mostly, to extent poverty. And it's really knocking on the GDP and my strong leader image and conservatives. We'll talk about image in a second. Uh, we're still making money, 25% of the vote. Okay, so we need to kind of improve the earnings of the poor. Is there anything here that will improve the earnings of the poor? Hmm. Food stamps to an extent. Rent control. Oh, I've got to find work safety law, maybe. Government sends these unions. Trade Council. No, I won't do anything with that. Um, stamp out racism, one is. We've got to think about that at some point. Uh, legalized prostitution. Um, poor earnings. Food stamps, poor earnings, the poor like it, etc. Blah blah blah. Farmers, uh, income goes up. The only person who doesn't like it, uh, actually, no, everybody likes food stamps. No one, no one dislikes it. Poverty goes down as well. Now, it will be very expensive. Look at that, almost five billion. So I think I'm just going to implement it at a two billion level. Still a lot of money, but uh, yes, we'll implement it there. That will hopefully have a knock-on effect on the general strike eventually when it starts to kick in. Now, some, like, policies take longer than others. You know, it's implementation time is, like, one quarter. Every time you hit next turn, you go forwards in quarters. If we find something different, like... Um, okay, these are all one quarter. Let me find... There we go. Anti-grav research grants. 20 quarters. It takes a very long time to work out how to use anti-gravity. Uh, now, I could also put down some bus subsidies. Very expensive. Telecommuting in, uh, initiative. That would reduce um, pressure on infrastructure. But it's still, we're talking the billions there, and I'd rather not. Ooh. That's a stamp out racism week. Liberalism goes up, racial tensions go down. It's expensive, almost half a billion. 
but sure. Next turn, let's save up for that, uh, get rid of the evolutionism, creationism thing. Uh, curb banking bonuses. There have been calls to the media for companies to do something about the big banking payments being made to company CEOs, despite falling profits. In cases where companies have failed to make a payment, the government has been asked to force companies to withhold bonus payments to top executives. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, yes, we'll restrict the banking bonuses because uh, it will help the poor out generally and make them feel like more equality in the society. And they're the people currently doing the uh, strike. The strike is a big problem for us. Human rights society threatening direct action to show its opposition to the current government. That is not good. And we've got a deficit. Remember we had so much money to begin with? Watch what happens as soon as the general strike happens. Look at our, def our like GDP. Boom. Went through the floor. Let's look at that general strike. Where is it? Um, surely general strike will be a red event. Uh, and it'll be here. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Already nearly down at the stop trigger. Hopefully that'll be off next turn. Evolution only. There we go. And that'll help out uh, with technology back water. Vigilante mob is at an end. Doctor Strike is now at an end. Credit rating downgraded. Ow. Okay. Uh, we're in a recession. Oh, the world is. 50% of the vote. Jump Strike. Ooh. Training a little bit upwards. I think that's just the world recession happening. It's costing us almost 5 billion. So we're going to have to end that general strike pretty soon with poor earnings. And I think probably the best way to do it, oh, the deficit, is something like rent control. Uh, something that plays towards them. Maybe work safety law? Mm, just plays to the trade unionists, but I've, I've implemented it now, I guess. Self-employed don't like it, so I don't do it too... Uh, I guess there's no point doing it minimally because it always pisses them off. Oh, but productivity goes down. I'll just implement it, like, at the lowest level. It won't cost very much there. And where's that rent control we're talking about? There we go. Poverty. Poor earnings. Yes. Capitalist income goes down. Capitalists dislike it. Ah, screw it. They really dislike it, even at low level. Uh, I'll introduce it at... There. 50 million. What else have we got? What what do people like? Labor laws. Uh, ooh, I don't really want to hit this one too hard. Recycling. Agricultural subsidies. This is costing us 5 billion. It just improves the farmer membership, income, etc. Hmm. Not a massive fan of it. I might cancel at some point. Pollution controls. It's not affecting the poor. Clean energy subsidies. not affecting the poor. How do I make the poor like me? We don't have maternity leave? What? We'll have to sort that out soon. Um, oh. Two quarters to kick in for that one. Consumer rights. Health food subsidy, junk tax, public services. Social Justice Foundation. I'm going to keep it for next turn and find out what happens after our current... Media backlash. Everyone... Oh, everyone dislikes me. Um, yep, yeah, we're down 42% of the vote. Deficit isn't terrible. Come on! Oh, it's so close to ending! What do we do now? We don't want much money to play around with. Street gangs are slowly ticking down. Alcohol abuse ticked down a little bit, but it's still up. Ghettos, um, mostly fed by the street gangs, etc. Organized crime, it's just the intelligence service. How can I affect the intelligence service? 
Liberals don't like it. Crime goes down. Organized crime goes massively down. Patriots like it. Sure. Have some spy satellites and stuff. Whatever. Community policing? Yeah, we'll pump that up a little bit. Only cost me one billion. Uh, well, mil a billion I don't have. I know, I know. It's a billion I don't have. Ideally, I'd need to put a new tax in, but if I do something like the luxury tax or the mansion tax, um, which penalizes, you know, people who can afford it, uh, they're going to really hate me and start to leave the country, and I'm going to get the brain drain, which is people just basically moving to places that will not penalize them for being clever and earning lots of money, and then we have issues. Um, internet currency tax, no. Automation tax, no. These kind of are against technology. Punitive wealth tax, that'll probably make them leave as well. Tax on superstores. Could make some money. Sure, let's implement it. Uh, affects GDP negatively. Put it at a minimum level. Please. General strike is at an end! Ban livestock imports. Uh, one of our neighboring countries has a publicly announced case of foot and mouth disease in its cattle. Uh, although the chance of the disease being spread to us is very low, you're lobbied by a farmer group to ban the import of cattle from the country as a precaution. Uh, foot and mouth, um, like, it was a big thing a fair number of years ago, uh, but all it does is basically give, like, them, like, the flu. Like, you get cow flu. Mm. We'll approve the ban, just because it will support our farmers temporarily. When you get 48% of the vote, we need to improve on that. We need to get the Human Rights Society on the side. They've been criticizing us. Uh, GP is now going up because the general strike's at an end. There we go. Thank you. Income is slowly climbing. Expenditure is slowly it's beginning to go down. Uh, debt. Hmm. Interest rate, yeah, because uh, because we got like a rating downgrade and stuff, and there's a recession and all that. I think we got uh, our interest rate climbed up. To be fair, the global economy is like really massively down, so that's kind of suppressing the positive effects I was trying to have. Uh, I guess this is a good place to end this episode. Then uh, next episode we are going to end up in an election because it is, yeah, we're half through our cycle, and this is where you start to do the electioneering stuff right about here. So, we've got a little way to go yet. We've got chances to make people like us. Uh, I think we need to kind of aim for the motorists next, since they are a fairly large group, and the trade unionists. Uh, who else? The liberals. Definitely we need to make the liberals like us more, because they are a very large number of the population. We've actually been feeding them with some of our policies. Socialists already like us, so I think we've got to aim for the liberals, uh, the trade unionists, and the motorists, and then we're going to base our uh, policies off of them. So, I don't know what we're going to do for making motorists like us, um, because if you try and, like, curtail road building and stuff and go green, they don't like it, but you can try and maybe subsidize, like, um, clean, efficient cars. And instead of being, like, the stick approach, which they don't like, you can give them the carrot approach. Uh, let's just hope we don't annoy the environmentalists, who already really like us, and there's not many of them, so I think it's probably a good idea. But for now, I've been Eric Simple. If you've liked, uh, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Let me know down below, of course, what you think. Um, it'd be nice to, you know, get the feedback about this uh, game, and particularly this DLC, although you haven't really seen anything new from the DLC yet, you will. So don't worry, the DLC will be happening probably the beginning of next, uh, the end of next episode. We'll be getting into the election cycle itself, and we're going to have to fight for that. The, all the new stuff um, is over here, so we've got, like, the details about our parties. We don't really have any members or any activists, which is a shame. Uh, manifesto, you can do this before an election. Speeches, you can do three turns before an election. Fundraising. Uh-oh. We have no members, so we aren't actually getting any funding from members. Notice that they've got uh, a little bit over three quarters of their funding from membership. We've got no members currently, so we need to work on that one. Ooh. Yeah, the farmers, look at that. Our top donor, generously 88%, not very happy. Not very happy at all. And I was going to get rid of the farm subsidies, which would make them very unhappy. That would get us like 7 billion, but they'd leave us and we wouldn't actually have a donor. And I can't afford to take another donation hit. Oh my god, I'm a corrupt politician already. Perceptions. Uh, they perceive me as not a strong leader because of the general strike. But I am compassionate. That's a bonus. So as a possibility stunt, let's try visit Army Barracks. Before we go. 
Uh, so this is a 24% bonus. 65% chance of success. Or we can try a land land an aircraft on an aircraft carrier. We get 20% bonus with an 8% chance of success. So we're going to try that. Yeah. It managed to uh, land an aircraft on an aircraft carrier. Admittedly, the pilot was doing the work. But we were in there. We were helping. And we look uh, slightly stronger in the eyes of the, uh, the electorate. But for now, I've been Erisim. Until next time, do let me know down below how you like it and stay shiny.